I find it discouraging to have the President of the United States saying disparaging things about women and minorities. That, that is very disturbing to me. And I expect the President of the United States to be a role model for our kids, right? I know so many young boys and girls that say, I want to be President of the United States someday. So you have to think about what you're role modeling in that role. And I think what's being role model is disturbing at this point. I've been a champion for women because I know and believe that empowered women change societies. I know it from data all over the world and from what I see. And the thing that's been incredible about the Me Too movement is, first of all, it's sad. It's sad to hear these heartbreaking stories. But the great thing about it is it's providing transparency to something that women know all over the world. I don't go to a rural village in India or to a business place in the United States and not but hear about sexual harassment that's going on and sometimes sexual violence. And so to have these stories come out in public, we know the only way to create social change is to have things aired in public. So the transparency phase we're in right now, even though it's painful, is a really good one. Then the public has to decide they're gonna change and make change, and you have to work on that change. And one of the things that's so encouraging to me about the Me Too movement is you're starting to see now 80 women are running for governor this year. You have over 400 women running for the U.S. House of Representatives. You have over 50 women running for the Senate. And what I like is that it's women with all different perspectives on both sides of the aisle. It's not just one type of candidate. And when you start to get that number of women into political representation with lots of different viewpoints, you will start to change an entire system. And that is one of the great things that can come out of this Me Too movement.